So I wanted to make a video about how to make double dilute epi. Um, it's just something that we don't get a whole lot of experience doing during our CA one year, except when you're at Methodist overnight on call and you have a sick bleeding patient and your senior is just like, hey, can you whip up some double dilute epi? And you're just like, I've never done that before. So this video, I wanted to give you some options about how to make it. Um, one caveat, it's not all inclusive. Um, I already know that there's other ways to make double dilute epi that I've not included. Um, but one of the tenets of anesthesia is that there are approximately 1 million ways to do the exact same thing. So talk to your seniors, talk to the CRNAs, talk to your consultants, see what other people do and why, and then just figure out what works best for you and go with that. First, let's talk about what double dilute epi is. So this picture is epinephrine that I pulled out of our Pyxis, and it's one milligram per milliliter. And each of these vials contain one milliliter of solution. And that is at a concentration of one to a thousand. And when you see it in this notation, this side is grams and the other side is milliliters. So when you make double dilute epi, you're taking this vial, diluting it by a factor of 10 twice to get a concentration of one to 100,000. And again, that's grams per milliliter. So this is the same thing as one gram per 100,000 milliliters. This is super awkward to look at. You know, when we dose things in the OR, we do it in like milliliters at a time. So let's make this look better. So one gram is the same as 1,000 milligrams. We'll leave this on this side. We'll cross out some zeros. You get one milligram per 100 milliliters. That's the same thing as a thousand micrograms per 100 milliliters. Cross out some zeros. And you get 10 micrograms per milliliter. So when you make a syringe of double dilute epi, you end up with a concentration of 10 micrograms of epinephrine per milliliter. So now I'll show you a few ways to make a double dilute epi. So first I'm going to show you how to make double dilute epi using this uh, glass uh, vial of epinephrine. It's got one milligram per milliliter, so we're going to dilute this twice um, to get our double dilute epi. So to do this, you'll need your epinephrine. It's in a glass vial, so we'll use a filter straw, something to draw it up in, like this 3cc syringe. And then a needle, I use this hypodermic 22 gauge long needle two flushes each with nine milliliters of fluid in them so you can either use just a saline flush or you can grab an empty syringe and pull uh, fluid off whatever bag you have hanging two labels so the first dilution you'll end up with 0.1 milligrams per milliliter and note that that's the same as the epinephrine at the bottom of your cart and then uh, your second dilution you'll end up with 10 micrograms per milliliter all right so first we'll crack this open and it is glass so make sure you put this in your sharps open this up and this whole vial contains one milliliter so we're going to draw out the entire vial Attach your needle to that. So this milliliter, it's actually a little more than a milliliter, let's squirt out some of that, is what's going to go in your first syringe. So you'll squirt all that in there. And it's probably already diffused pretty well, but I'm gonna shake it to make me feel better. And we can pop a label on there. So now you have essentially your code epi, so 0.1 milligrams per milliliter. This is your first dilution. So then we'll move on to the second one. You're gonna draw up one cc of this.
And this is what goes in your second syringe. So make sure you put some room in your syringe for what you're gonna add to it. Spurt all that in there. And this is Sharps. So that is your double dilute Epi. So now, just one thing to note, you've got some code dose Epi and you've got some double dilute Epi. They look very similar even though I've labeled them. So if you know someone comes in your room to help you out, they may grab the wrong syringe. So what I'd probably do is hide this or even throw it away if you're not gonna need it because you don't want someone to give the wrong vial of epinephrine. So that's the first way to make double daily epinephrine. So the second way I show you kind of bypasses some of that dilution, you're gonna start with the same epinephrine. This time it's in one of these vials instead of the glass vial, but it's still one milligram per milliliter. What we're gonna do is take out 0.1 milliliters, which has 100 micrograms, and put that in a 10 cc syringe. So this syringe still has 10 milliliters of fluid in it. I'm not gonna start with nine like I did with the other ones. So you'll also need a syringe to drop your epinephrine, a needle to put it into here, um, a label. So again, we're going to 10 micrograms per milliliter. So we'll crack this open. So I guess you could draw 0.1 cc's and then put that directly in, or you could drop the full vial and inject 0.1 at a time if you're making more. I'm gonna see if I can just draw 0.1. So that's 0.1 milliliters of one milligram per milliliter epinephrine. And that's what I'm gonna put in my 10 cc syringe. I'm make some room in there. I'm gonna put all of that in there. So now we've put 100 micrograms of epinephrine into 10 milliliters of solution. So now it's technically 10.1 milliliters solution, but pretty close. So you'll end up with your 10 microgram per milliliter double dilute epinephrine. So the third way I know of to make double dilute epi, you actually use the epinephrine that's in the bottom of your Pixis that we've used for a code. And what we're gonna do is take one milliliter of this and put it with nine cc's of fluid. So that's putting 0.1 milligrams or 100 micrograms into a 10 cc solution total. So that'll be 10 micrograms per milliliter. So first we open this and there's a spot that says open here. I'm gonna pop off the yellows and just twist that on there. So the, there's a little air and a little extra epinephrine. You can just kind of squirt that out. All right, so this is 10 milliliters, one milligram, one milligram total, 0.1 milligrams per milliliter or 100 micrograms in one milliliter. So I'm gonna put this needle on to of this. And we're gonna put one milliliter into this syringe. So we'll put a little room in here. One cc going in. So 
now you see I have 10 milliliters in here at a concentration of 10 micrograms per milliliter. And that is our double dilute epi. The last way I show you really probably just applies if you're on cardiac, because um, it involves taking out fluid from this epinephrine bag. Um, so this is just a picture of epinephrine from our pharmacy um, that's meant to be run as an infusion of 16 micrograms per milliliter. So what you're gonna do is take 6.25 milliliters from this bag and combine it with 3.75 milliliters of fluid, and that will give you 10 micrograms per mil. So to walk through that, we take 6.25 milliliters of a 16 microgram per mil solution of epi, and that will give you 100 micrograms. So you're going to combine that with 3.75 milliliters in like a normal saline flush. Um, so what you'll get is 100 micrograms in a total of 10 milliliters of fluid. which is your double dilute epi concentration that you're going for. So you'll just need your epinephrine drip. You'll need a syringe with just 3.75 milliliters of fluid left in it. You'll attach your hypodermic needle to your syringe, pull up 6.25 milliliters from your bag of epinephrine, and then pop on your label 10 mics per mil. Make sure you get in your strategic nap before call. You guys are gonna be great.